And now weather with meteorologist Savannah Tennyson, certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, it is 1115 and temperatures are already in those upper 80s here in Springfield. We're sitting at 88 degrees, beautiful blue skies in the background, west winds at 11 miles an hour. And boy, is it going to be a very hot day on top, just like we saw yesterday. Temperatures in Branson, still a little bit on the cooler side, but still hot out there for this time of year at 84 degrees. That's normally what we're supposed to be topping out at in the late afternoon. Unfortunately, those 90s are coming right back into the picture. Here is the full picture. We are clear. Maybe a few clouds popping up later on this afternoon. Yesterday's highs were in the 90s for almost all locations here in Springfield, topping out at 93, close to triple digits up in Clinton. And again, normal high for this time of year is around 80 degrees. Unfortunately, this heat that you're seeing is going to be coming right back around as we head into this afternoon. And we're going to be flirting with record highs today and tomorrow. So today that forecast high is at 94. Record high back in 1954 was 97. And then tomorrow, I think that's the best chance that we actually get to see for maybe smashing a record. Forecast high at 95 degrees, that record high back in 1954 at 93 degrees. Now here's the big picture. The good news is that ridge is going to slowly move to the east as we head into later on this week. We're going to have a cold front that's going to be bringing in some cooler, much needed air to the Ozarks. Timing all this out for you. We're going to have mostly sunny skies on tap for today, mostly clear skies on tap for tonight. But as we head into Wednesday, we could be seeing maybe a pop shower or maybe even a thunderstorm as we head into tomorrow afternoon. I think most areas will be staying dry, but you can see little bitty showers popping up north of I-44. The better chance that we have for some scattered showers and storms will be coming into the picture as we head into Thursday morning and throughout the day Thursday. So you can see already a blanket of those showers up in Clinton, Warsaw and Lake Ozark. Those are going to continue to drift to the south and to the east. Now, unfortunately, you saw they are going to be dissipating very quickly throughout the day. So some areas could even be staying on the dry side. And yes, future cast rain not looking too great. I know we've been dry for the past few weeks and we need all the rain we can get. So we're going to have to cross our fingers for more rain in the forecast later on down the road. Temperatures today at 94 degrees here in Springfield, 97 over in Joplin. Temperatures tonight still on the warmer side for this time of year, but it's going to be feeling very nice compared to how hot it's going to be later on this afternoon. By tomorrow, temperatures again hot, hot and hot. 94 here in Springfield, 98 over in Joplin. But by Thursday, we're looking much better at 70 here in Springfield. Thanks to that cold front, some areas not even getting out of those upper 60s. Here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures are going to be hot as we head into Wednesday by Thursday. That is the uh, first day of fall. So go ahead and, you know, get excited for that. 70 degrees is going to be the high. Fall starts on at 8.04 p.m. at night. So, Jesse, you're going to be asleep for that. Yeah, sure. But the seven day forecast after that is looking very, very nice. You might even need a jacket whenever you come into work on Friday. <sighs> That's what I like to hear. I'm hoping for a nice, uh, nice round of sweater weather. Yes. That would be nice. Yeah. That's what we need more of, especially this time of year once fall starts. Savannah, thanks. Up next, Missouri lawmakers are in Jefferson City for a special session to discuss tax cuts.